Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So, the mics are dead, but luckily I'm inside the house, so you don't need to block, or I don't need to block out the wind. So, um, we have moved a few things in the house, and I know on our main channel, Eddie Family Farm, we actually, Brandon showed us bringing the furniture, um, our, setting up our bed, um, and a couple things. Well, since then, I've actually done some other things and um, we've had some friends bring some stuff and just a few different things. And um, a lot of silverware and like unboxing. Almost, I think everything that we actually opened up in the live um, that people have graciously given us, um, that is in the house now and we have been using it for a little bit so i'm super excited to get to show some of that thing but another thing is we are still bringing a whole lot of stuff we have a stock trailer i think it's called a stock trailer i don't know it's an enclosed trailer that where our old photo albums a bunch of extra hangers a bunch of extra towels um bunch of extra blankets, dishes, just a lot of different things. And that stuff, we are slowly bringing stuff into the house, like bringing it to the sink and washing it and then putting it up. Or there's a bunch of stuff that we actually threw away because um, we've either gotten it from some of you guys or we just bought new ones anyways and we didn't need um, those ones. But nothing like that we could give away. It's just stuff that's old and we needed to get rid of but i wanted to save it but anyways i'll take you around and show you everything else that we've actually started bringing in so turning it around here this is our living room suit um we did not get the chair that actually the recliner that actually come with the couch and love seat because it wasn't very big um there just wasn't a lot you could you couldn't really sit in it. It was more perfect for like the kids. So we did get this color. It's a little bit lighter brown. Um, we thought it matched a lot better when we actually picked it out, but it didn't. But I think it's I think it still works pretty good. So here is our little entryway. We have not put our TVs up on the wall yet, but one, we got some brushes and stuff from the auction. Um, I got this cute backpack from the auction. Super excited, I haven't actually used it or nothing yet. Um, and then this table, my best friend Bill and his wife, Mary, um, they made this. Bill, I know he showed me pictures and pictures for years now of things that he makes, just randomly think, random things and I'm always like, well, you better make me something. And <laughs> I told him that's what I want for my housewarming gift is you to make me something. Well, I was just kind of goofballing and just kind of whatever, but they did it. And he actually, on our way to our last vacation, um, which we just came, got back from um, a few days ago, but I say vacation, but the auction and a little vacation. But um, they stopped by and dropped it off, and I'm going to show y'all it. I know my dad, I haven't showed him yet, um, but he's going to be, he's going to, he's going to so want this and try to take it away if it comes down. Be only because it's a, he's a, he's been a plumber his whole life, but it's wood and they, they can tell you everything that it actually is, but I don't even remember, but it's, um, I love the detail in it and there's no splinters or nothing. They put some kind of oil on it, which I'm going to be getting some so that I can clean it and everything. But look at that detail of all the pipe. And it's funny because like down here, you can actually, what he did was he tightened these up and loosened them up and stuff. And that actually makes it taller and shorter. Like this leg can be a little bit taller than this leg because it might be a little bit shorter on the carpet over here. So he actually ended up doing all of it. I'll kind of pull this back. 
but it ran the pipe. I love it. I love, love, love it. But I also love the detail that they have in here, like all the little chips and stuff. That's characteristic to me. And I love it. I don't know if I can say I love it as much as I just did, but I can. So that's that. And now the dining uh, set is this dark wood. And Brandon, again, we actually set everything up on our main channel, Eddie Family Farm. But so this is, it could be short or right here is a leaf to make it longer. And obviously we need it longer with a family of six. But also, this rug, I say rug, it's cowhide. Um, I actually got this. I even bid with my own hand and like was like, yes, I want this. And they kept trying to run it up. Well, I run it up more just because I've always said that I want to get one. And I did get one at an auction about maybe a year ago or so, but it's a smaller one but I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but I will find somewhere for it to go. I love it. I think I might move it inward a little bit more. I don't know yet, but we've already sat and ate at the table together and it's been awesome. Then we have, like I said, we've been bringing things in and washing them and everything like my crock pot and stuff like that. And then I have my cough drops, which these are like the best cough drops ever. One, they've been working really well, but I think that's because it has that oral anesthetic in it. But it also tastes like a candy cane, or I guess you can also say a peppermint, but it, it, it tastes like Christmas. So I really, really love it. And then I got my little to-do list and my um practices and everything like addison and Kaysen. we got thursday or tuesday wednesday thursday friday practices every week for basketball so that's going to be so much fun and then saturday also because saturday is game day and then addison actually has games she has games different days i think not just saturdays i think the two younger ones have saturday but Everything's been working out good. And I completely forgot about these. We got these from a lovely subscriber and we showed them on a channel before we brought them in and stuff. But um, I completely forgot about those. They've just been in storage because I wanted them to be here when we got this. And this is where I put my microwave. You could tell I don't have all my knives anymore, but whenever we do have our housewarming, um, our just regular housewarming party for our family and close friends here. Um, my sister like threatened me and told me that she is getting me a knife block. So I don't need one, <laughs> but, and then what makes a house a home is having things on our refrigerator and yes so Braylee of course she made a hundred last week um I guess that was block and she forgot the L but that's a bonus word so she didn't get anything taken off um and then Addison this is Addison's it's a uh, fire prevention week and that was her I love it the fire truck with the water hose to take out the fire I love it Smoke alarms make them work for you. <coughs> and then with the family of six, you always have a washer and dryer. The washer's actually done now, but a washer and a dryer that is always going because we always have clothes or blankets or sheets or curtains or whatever. And um, so that's going to finish up. We did not get a new washer and dryer. We were going to because we want to leave a washer and dryer down in the tiny house um, for when guests come and they don't have to take like they don't have to take dirty clothes home or nothing. 
but so this is something that we don't have to have right now we are actually going to take this back down there and we'll put our new ones in here but that's going to be that's more of a want not a need so we don't need it right now so um we'll just kind of put that on the back burner and save it for that whenever so and then you might have seen this beautiful picture look at that handsome man right there doesn't it just look like brandon and then me but and then our trash cans over here that's really the only place the trash can could go i know some people will put it like right here on the end of the um, bar but i don't want my trash to be the first thing i see when i walk in the house so it's gonna go right over there so i forgot i didn't mention that the office area we have not actually um brandon's computer and stuff is in there but that is kind of off limits to camera right now because it's a mess in there because we've brought everything we bring everything that's been in the trailer and stuff inside there and we wipe it down really good and then we actually bring it in and whatever do with whatever we have to with that but anyways that's that and then here is the bathroom so this is usually shut but Braley took a bath this morning Let's see if I can get it all put up so it looks like a beach. So there we go. I got the beach in here with the night light. And then um, in the shower, I actually put up their toothbrushes, which it looks like one of the kids probably put theirs out here but um that's for that which this is obviously for a razor and none of them need that and then i just use some command um hooks and put up their scrunchies or their loofahs or whatever they call them kason has got his shark down here and that is pretty much it in here then we move on down we got layton's room and he actually has his twin bed that we had in the tiny house. So that's his bed. Um, that's that. This is his uh, blanket. We got him for Christmas. And then he's got a notebook. He's actually been writing a song. He's never mentioned wanting to write songs or nothing before, but he did start writing and then just, I don't know. It's kind of like a poem, kind of like words, but he knows how to sing it. And I, I'm not gonna give y'all any clue because I have no clue how to sing it. And then, and here's still a little bit messy. Um, He's got his hats up here, a couple of hats that we found in the, um, in the, trailer then here's some clothes that's kind of been folded and washed and everything but he just doesn't have his dresser yet i found a bunch of baseball cards they were a lot of them were brandon's old baseball cards and then also some are Layton, which all of them are Layton's now brandon's gave them to him but i put those in here and then we got his halloween costume you know, every year, the last like two or three years, he hasn't wanted to be anything for Halloween. So usually he just wears his football jersey. Well, now, um, now he has it. So he wanted to actually be something this year. And same thing for the girls. We have extra this will once we get a toy box um we will actually probably throw that away um i was just my sister actually gave me that because um it went underneath their bed but ended up breaking off or something well i was using it while in the tiny house and it was working really good so the closet got most of their shirts and shoes these are addison's 
new basketball shoes. They're pink, but she wanted them. Air Jordan. They look big, but she's got a big foot. <laughs> Then right now, Braley's on this side, right here. Yep, and then Addison's on that side. But we kind of just separate it. And then for right now, they have a queen mattress. And that's something that even if they had twin beds, I think they would probably still end up in the same bed. Braley still every night comes out saying she's scared and um i'm like really there's nothing to be scared about but i guess it's more about addison's always asleep before her and she just lays there but it's not dark in here one um i went and bought night lights because not just the kids but i need a night light too i it's just too dark i'm i don't like the dark i know there's nothing in the dark especially in the new house but i don't like it but also, and I'll show you this in, I'll go in my closet, but I bought this the other day too. Let's go, let's sneak through here. Oh, you can't see nothing. Oh, you didn't see that. So we will actually close the door in here and you'll be able to see the lights. Then there's twinkling lights to go with it too. You can turn the twinkling off and then that's on and off, but it brightens it up pretty good. I'll go ahead and turn that back off and then we'll get back to over here. So put this back. But another thing is, this is actually the dresser that came with our bedroom suit a long, 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 long time ago. Like Layton was 11 months old. So, um, this has not actually, this is actually hanging now, but maybe I needed to, I don't know, it was pulling too hard or something, but I had command strips on this side and on that side, but... So I'm gonna figure something else with that. Um, I think I just maybe needed to leave them on the wall a little bit longer. I don't know. So, but anyways, that's the girls' room. And then we have Kason's room over here. He's got his little bunkers. And this is actually what I planned on doing for my entryway. Um, I got it and that's what I plan to do. But then in the tiny house, we actually used it for Addison's um, dresser. That was her actual dresser. And then I told him, I said, keep it clean because I want it from an entryway. And they've done really good with it. I mean, it still looks really good, but I have that new entryway. So it's gonna go somewhere once we have a dresser. I just don't know where yet. And then kason has got his new um, bedroom uh, blanket and then this little guy right here this is ransom so at the auction we um, bought a few things well ransom really wanted there was two stuffed animals and so he got them both and come to find out he wanted to buy one for him and one for Kaysen. So they did that and then they kind of went together and was talking about names and everything and Ransom said, hey, you know what the perfect name is? That can be Kaysen and then yours can be Ransom's. So, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Yeah. No. So that pony's name is Ransom and then his, I think he got a yak or something uh -huh. or a buffalo or I don't know. But um, his is actually named Kaysen. Huh, I did not know that. You've been working hard? Yes, hard, hard, hard. Yeah. Come in the house and take a break, and I got to edit some videos. and. It's nice to take a break in the AC, huh? Yes, yes. And we could at the house down there, but yeah. it's just everything just so cluttered. And uh, that's once we get, <laughs> the one thing we got to get next is the window blinds. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing um, we got to get. 
and then I haven't showed in here yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of followed you in here. Yeah, lovely bed. Um, eventually, we're going to get a, a king size bed. Yeah, so it looks now. like a good bed until you walk over here and you're like, oh, there's part of the bed missing. <laughs> so what we did is obviously put our queen mattress and box spring on our king frame because we are getting a king like Brandon said but then we have Jeffrey over here which is a draft I won at State Fair and we have the nightstands and then this guy's he needs a name too so we got Jeffrey I think we need something with the J because it's a giraffe so it needs so you're talking about the auction so you can tell them that you bought a draft oh yeah yeah I bought a draft at the auction. That's right. So, I'm so excited about it, though. I, I'm kind of like Kaysen. Kaysen is a big stuffed animal person. Um, he, he just has a fascination with just holding on to a draft. Kind of maybe like a security, but then again, it's not something that he has to have. Um, but he does like to sleep with one at nighttime. So... I don't sleep with one at night time, but they, I do think they're cool to have around the room and stuff. But, um, anyways, that's here. This is my dresser. And then Brandon's dresser, or I guess it's called a chest of drawers, is right here. And then our bathroom, which, got my towel, but got the little farmhouse theme going on. And then all this fun stuff. It's just stuff that we've been bringing in. Like this is an old one. <coughs> this is makeup, which I never ever wear. So I need to put it up. Just a lot of, a lot of super fun stuff. It's a bathroom. So what's fun about a bathroom? But then you kind of seen the closet in the dark. Well... I mean, it's not a lot. Now, we did go and get a couple um, blow-up mattresses when people want to come stay the night with the kids, like friends come stay over or whatever. Shoes right now, we just have them in a tote. Um, we have extra hangers over here. I need to clean those, and then we will hang those up, have extra baskets, pillows, all the extra goods. So another thing, um, I did go and grab the mics because I want to take y'all outside and um, show y'all some grass that we have. It grew really fast. So let's go take that, take a look at that. Um, Brandon's actually here. It's, it's awesome <laughs> just to sit out this window and just watch the animals, which we don't have anything on the back porch yet, furniture, but we'll eventually get there. Then we can sit out here and look at all the beautiful animals. Yes. But, um, yeah, you talked about the grass. Yep, I haven't talked so, about it yet. So. The grass, as you can see, it's, turning, it's still green out here. We've been putting a lot of water to it. But I've got to come back over here, and I'm actually probably going to do this today after I get off my break. And I've got to get this grass, and what I'm going to probably end up doing oh, yeah. is cutting this grass like a square of it not i see oh man i might have waited too long it's got to come up though oh no the tractor's been in the shop so i haven't been able to use that and we have been pouring the water to it. But well, as, as what he's you, talking about is all this, like the hills and stuff, it's because it sunk in and needed more dirt packed in. I don't know if that's you gonna be able to keep it all together. Yeah. Oh wow. It has rooted together really, really good which is good and bad at the same time. Oh, 
I think I still and roll it kind of how they had it. Yeah, I think you. Maybe. Sound like a pumpkin roll. What are you gonna do? Just put some dirt there, extra dirt, and pack it down really good, and then throw it back on. Yeah, and that's what we'll do. But I think it's gonna work. But once I do that, I'll bring dirt in and fill it up, and then we'll lay it back down and start watering it really good. So I will say we have been putting the water to it. There, I bet that water. There's no telling what the water bill is gonna be. Yeah. But. But it's a good thing though because we have some storms and a lot of rain coming. Like there's, I think almost a full tonight? week of rain. No, oh, tomorrow really? night. Tomorrow. Well, I say tomorrow night. Well, that'll be but good because be our tomorrow. our pond's just about done too. It needs water. But that means if it's going to rain, I got to get this done today. Yeah. And what I'll probably do is peel this back, and then I'll get water and I will soak this. Really, really good. That way all the dirt will fall down. I'm so tired of this wind. It's unreal. But you can see by this wind why I sound like I do. <laughs> it's a mess. It's terrible, but we do. We're eventually, though, we eventually get some more sod, and we're going to take it all the way down, I don't know, yeah. past those trees right there. But then we're going to put up a fence around around the house and um, you know that way the animals will stay out of here the chickens I don't mind but if the goats get up here they're going to eat everything so yeah. it's yeah, just one of those horses. deals yeah the horses as well horses eat like but you know we're just going to take step by step uh, I will say though I've said this in the video the other day we are missing our friends from the Chickasaw Nation um, Charlie and like I said, Paul, Brady, and uh, P, 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 Patrick. What? Patrick, Patrick. I was like, well, and not, what, what reason why I was like, hard time remembering Patrick? We didn't really get to meet Patrick until the last month. Yeah, the other three we've seen since the get go. Yeah, but um, yeah, we loved visiting with those guys and um, I can't wait until we get settled in. I do want to invite them out and um, have a barbecue or something. Yeah, yeah. And me, me and Charlie, every morning he would come and check on the project. And uh, you know, we got cameras, so we I always know when he gets here. And I'd always come up and drink some coffee, and we'd talk, and we had some long conversations, and um, absolutely enjoyed those conversations. And you never think of it coming to an end. You never think of you know building friendships like that but um yeah it's kind of sad it but is. um it really is we're gonna see them again we'll eventually you know get together and they'll always be a part of our life we'll never forget them they left markings in the house i know and, so if we ever forget his name again we'll just go look behind the fridge yeah well yeah the fridge <laughs> um, but not only that they left little surprises and stuff so um, we're so thankful for them but i've got to go edit so y'all guys have a wonderful day so talk about the fridge. Um, I'm not gonna go pull it out because we actually have some food and stuff in there now, so it's a little bit heavier. But the guys, the four supervisors, they actually signed the back of our fridge and I, we love that kind of thing. But I think they figured out that they, they've, they've came to know us and they knew that we wouldn't get mad that that's something we would actually like. But like Brandon said, he's going to go edit. Well, I need to go edit and I need to um, go grab the kids because it's about time for the bus to get here. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on and subscribe. God bless.